Listen. Claire Foy has been putting in the work this year, almost trying to reach that Alicia Vikander level, and she decided to hop on as the lead to her first big franchise. And I remember seeing the original ones that were a part of the Swedish trilogy, right? It was based off of a trilogy of books. Uh, I thought those were good. But then David Fincher came in and remade it in English. He made it extra dark. He got some Oscar buzz from Rooney Mara, who was really looking forward to the sequel. I'm doing it unless someone tells me that I'm not. <laughs> and then I still might do it. She didn't. Even though they completely swapped out the cast and switched directors, Sony still really wanted people to know that it was a sequel to Fincher's to the point that the official title for the movie is The Girl in the Spider's Web, A New Dragon Tattoo Story. What are you, Star Wars? This one's got the director of Don't Breathe, so I at least was excited for it since I like Feather's direction, but it ends up being more on the rented side in my opinion. And I feel depending on how much you liked or hated Red Sparrow, it'll determine how you feel about this one. Let me explain. So originally, this was a trilogy of Swedish books written by Stig Larsson, who said he was inspired by his friend named Lisbeth, who didn't give him any writing notes or anything like that, right? Now, she was gang raped in front of him by three men while uh, he stood around and did nothing. And then he was surprised she didn't grant him forgiveness. Thus, he decided to write three books around a character named Lisbeth, who also was a rape survivor, but she goes out and practically becomes Batman, beating the crap out of bad guys as she hacks by night. In fact, when you look up the original title, its literal translation is Men Who Hate Women, but I guess Americans saw it and went, hey, she's got a dragon tattoo. Let's call it that. Larson ended up dying in 04, so he didn't even get to see his books become so popular or get adapted or live to stop them from continuing the franchise without him. Because two more books were made in the series that even the wife of Larson called straight trash and claimed that they were just making them for money. And I kind of agree with her. In the movie version of the fourth novel, we see Lisbeth as a kid playing chess with her twin sister when her dad calls them in to play something else. Clearly this isn't the safest environment, so Lisbeth decides to jump out the window, pulls a Katniss as she tumbles down, and somehow survives long enough to get her own franchise. We're supposed to believe that the events of Fincher's story still happened and everyone just got plastic surgery, so when a computer scientist named Franz starts feeling threatened, he calls up our girl for help. Turns out his kid August gets a rush out of numbers and is able to solve these crazy equations that unlock his dad's access codes, but since Lisbeth knows nothing about missile encryption systems, she seeks out to get her info like the rest of us. Watching YouTube videos. Now I'm not saying that I know much about the subject, but does every movie involving hacking really think that it's just people banging on a keyboard all of a sudden they're in? Like they just press random keys like they're playing Smash Bros and all of a sudden they're able to stop bombs. They don't even look down at the keyboard, they're just hitting things, you know. She could be on a touchscreen phone and you're still hearing the clacking of the keys. I don't know, but she did hack the hell out of Lakeith. This dude works for the NSA and still got snooped on before he was able to yell, get out. Like, if there's one person I feel bad for in this movie, it's this guy. Man's roaming all around the world trying to find Lizbeth before he gets fired for losing the missile plans. They legit waste time pranking him with fake phones in the movie that did absolutely nothing for the plot. And in the one action scene that they give my man, he's like four football fields away. Now, Mikael, who goes from Bond to this guy is a journalist whose publication is getting bought out. He's trying to help Lizbeth by searching up people with spider tattoos since they were the ones who came in and also stole the plans from her. But as he goes into the Spider-Verse, he realizes that the people behind it is actually her sister. Who in the books actually goes by Thanos, but... Yeah, you know they had to disintegrate that real fast. Her henchmen end up finding the scientist and killing him. They kidnap the kid and leave Lizbeth drugged up so that she can take the blame. But then this girl snorts up some amphet- amphet- Okay, okay, don't hurt yourself. Pulls up her Sony GoPro and enhances it. No way you can enhance it. And is somehow able to pull a watchdogs as she tracks and hacks into their car, knocking them out with their own airbags, lifts the lever like Kronk to get the bad guy stuck on the bridge, and then sees her sister dressed up like Red Sparrow. They stay at an abandoned Epcot where Mikael shows up and they partner with Needham in order to take down the Spider Society. And their plan is pretty much to let the kid get kidnapped so they can track down where their headquarters are with this GPS chess piece that they're giving them. They then pull that thing Morgan Freeman did in The Dark Knight where they get a sonar of the whole place so Lizbeth can sneak in. She finds gel for her hair apparently and right before she's able to take them down she gets caught and we find out that even the swedish secrets hold on swedish secrets 
hold on. Swedish Secret Service is scheming with spiders secretly because they'd rather have the bad guys have the weapons than America. Obviously, you should never trust a spider, man. And they turn on the service and kill them. They stuff Lizbeth in this honey can do vacuum pack as it gets under her skin. And then Needham decides to use the sonar thing to snipe him from the outside. He guns him down one by one. This dude pops his knee out just like they did in Red Sparrow. And they're able to rescue the kid as the bad guys get into a 5 star collision. Leading to the final boss fight on this cliff. That's really just a confession. And was included in the trailer. Why did you help everyone but me? Sister. The sisters didn't have a one-on-one -on -one cause Camila isn't mad that her sister left her, you know? She's not mad that she was the one who grew up getting abused by their father, the one who had to become an evil villain. Nah, she's upset that her sister had five books saving everybody else in the world except her. And since she didn't get to jump at the beginning with her sister, she decides to jump now except she did. Lizbeth hits control alt delete so no one has the missile plans at all. Needham somehow doesn't get fired. The kid goes back to his mom and learns to play 21 and Mikael writes his article titled The Girl in the Spider's Web before deleting it to keep it all a secret just like this movie should have done. Thank you guys for checking out this video. I'm curious to know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Um, like I said, it, it to me, it's like Red Sparrow. It's one of those movies where even Daniel Craig, who loves doing sequels, didn't come back to do this one. But I, I think, you know, the themes of family, I guess you can say, are in there. I think the whole behind the scenes dealing with the authors is way more interesting. I don't know if this one's going to continue, but definitely let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, I had Overlord and IMAX playing above us during this entire movie. So I'm not one to mention like the behind the scenes of what I do with my movie watching, but I'm mentioning that because Overlord was so loud, it was in IMAX, and I'm bringing it up because in case you watched this video and you didn't watch my Overlord one, I highly recommend that movie. Go watch it. Let me know your thoughts about this one or any other ones down below in the comment section. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and I'll send you this thing that um, it's a it's supposed to catch spiders somehow